All right, Scorpio, here we go. It's the Scorpio Energy Update. Uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. It's a timeless reading. Whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. Bottom of my deck for the pre-shuffle before I hit the record button is the Six of Swords. The energy I get off of this is somebody wanting to move toward their happiness. I think that happiness is you, but I think they got some conflict on their side. I'm not sure, but I can't say for sure, but I feel something. I mean, they're obviously, I mean, it's kind of an obvious thing to say, right? They want to move toward their happiness. It's you. There's obviously some unhappiness that they want to move away from. We don't know what yet. I'm shuffling the deck, or we'll see what's going on. Let's cut the deck here for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, being a sloppy cut, but it'll work. Uh, all right, let's see here. Yeah, bottom of the deck after the cut is the Knight of Wands. This is uh, action. This is movement. That's what I'm getting off of it. Somebody, it takes some bravery in, in this case when I see the Knight of Wands uh, off, off of the Six of Swords is movement. It's movement towards that happiness. And impulsive movement at that. Quick, fast movement. All right, that's my final shuffle. In the bottom of the deck... Backing all that up is the King of Cups. Somebody's got a full cup of love for you. Probably haven't given you much of it yet. Yet. I don't know. Let's see where we go. King of Cups. And underneath it, I always go one more deep. It's the Nine of, uh, Nine of Pentacles. Huh. Well, for some of you, somebody's single and available to pursue. They're getting their shit together. I mean, how, however that works out. Whatever getting their shit together on their side means, this King of Cups is getting their shit together and ready to give you the full cup for a change instead of a partial cup. Let's see where we go. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how they feel, uh, feel in general, feel in their emotions. Right here's how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy. It's what the universe wants you to know through me. And right here is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to uh, extend this one, we will. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. This is weird energy. It, it's really cut and dry. I hate it when it's cut and dry because there's no soap opera here. I like my soap operas. I like my, sto my stories, as my mother calls them. Her stories. She likes it. My mother's English. Which what most people don't know. She lives over there in Britain. Despite my accent, this is my dad's accent. Um, she watches what's, what's that show I don't know I forget East End or something like that I don't know what it is some, some show like that Coriander Street I don't know <laughs> whatever it is I don't know anyway uh, yeah somebody's getting their act together to come in and, and come towards their happiness which is you and, they, and I doubt they've shown you this in the past the King of Cups hides their feelings a lot although they got a lot of them What's the energy around the connection? Let's see where we go. Knight of Swords. What'd I tell you? We already had that Knight of Wands after the cut. I told you the Knight of Wands with the Six of Swords is impulsive, fast action. This is impulsive, fast action, too. But this, this, this card's got communication attached to it. The Knight of Wands, well, it's got thought, passion. It, well, it's got passion, I should say. This has thought and communication behind it. Knight of Swords always always brings in messages. It's like the little messenger. But they can get out as fast as they come in. I feel like this person's worried. They're worried how you're going to react. So they want to make so they're going to come in probably pretty light. This is not real lovey dovey. Okay? It's not. Although they have a full cup of love for you. Let's see how they feel in their emotions. Let's not prejudge this here on one damn card. Uh, how do they feel in their emotions? Temperance. The only thing I'm getting off this, and it's rather generic, is patience. The animals on this animal deck all mean something. They're here for a reason. A lot of people think they just picked an animal for the car. This is the great blue heron. Great blue heron is a patient hunter. Look it up. Go to Audubon Society website if you don't believe me. They're a very patient hunter. They'll stand there and wait for a damn fish to come by. And they'll, and they'll just stay there and wait. 
having this card and the message of patience around it in their feelings tells me that your person's waiting for the right moment to come in and when they come in they're going to come in fast i dislike that i don't know what it is i don't know why we're going to see when we clarify it could be the right moment because they want to get a sign from you or it could be the right moment because something needs to happen on their side i do feel there's something going on on their side i do feel that uh what's the uh how do they feel about you specifically eight of cups This is why they want to come in so fast. These are the bookends. Okay, they're waiting for the right moment. That's the center card of my whole reading here. They've got a full cup of love for you. They, 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 they think they need to move fast. There's some urgency here. I've seen this in other readings around this time frame. They, there's some urgency here because they think you might be gone. They think it might be too late. Maybe they sat on their hands a little too long, but they can't. The, the energy around this temperance is that they're trying to keep it together, but they can't jump in just yet. They have to wait for the right moment. Again, we're going to clarify and see what that is. What's the hidden energy here? Red with this impulsive knight of swords, this urgent energy. Four of wands. I have a feeling your person's got something going on on their side to, to do with a long-term commitment of some kind. Could be a job, could be a marriage, could be someone they're banging. I don't know. Uh, you know, but whatever it is, they're fixing to get out of it because we had that nine of pentacles right here. One of the messages on that I got was someone sing, single and free to pursue or freeing themselves up. I think they're waiting for the right moment because again, like I said, I think they have to clear something up on their side. But all the while, there's a lot of urgency brewing because they're afraid that you, it might be too late and you've moved on. You've walked away. It could be. It could be. This is this is old energy. You can tell old energy. Any energy reader will tell you energy has a taste, right? It has a taste to it. It, it not a in the truest sense. It's metaphorical, but that's how I can tell the energies apart. That's how I do it anyway. It's got like it's like a food. You could blindfold me and put scrambled eggs in front of you, and I'll tell you I'm eating scrambled eggs. I recognize this. This is old scrambled eggs. You know what I'm saying? Or they taste like I cooked them. One or the other. It's, it's old energy. This has been going on a spell. I suspect this person chose someone else over you in the past or chose something else. Or was one of those people that wants to look away from emotions and be all shut down and closed off and shit. Um, I don't... Mm, I don't want to talk out of turn. I don't feel their heart chakra completely open. I think they're dealing with something that has to do with the four of wands. What's the final outcome? Red with Mr. or Mrs. Patience, the great blue heron here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Mic drop right here. Queen of Cups. Now let me tell you something about the Queen of Cups. King of Cups, we got at the bottom, is a half a cup of wishy-washy love. They don't share all the cup, but they have a full cup. Queen of Cups got the same size cup, a little more stylish, right? A little wine glass. But it's the same size cup. Male or female, they give the whole cup. So this person, final outcome, is coming to bring you the whole damn cup. And I felt that around the King of Cups. I said, they probably didn't give you the full cup in the past, but now they're coming to give it to you. And there it is. Proof of what I said. I love it. I love tarot, but I love energy reading too. I just love, I use the tarot to verify what I'm reading. That, that's all I do. And that's, that's what I got. So, we're going to clarify. This, this can either go to shit or it can get really good. I don't know what we're going to see. I still feel some, I feel some shit right over here. And, and don't panic. Maybe we can work it out. Let's see. A lot of urgency here. This Knight of Swords, they're afraid with, with its bookend over here. They're afraid you, you walked away. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Let me shuffle for that and we'll see where we go. I'm going to keep the animal cards in play here. I'm feeling the energy on these. I think we're going to get the answers we need. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Look, look who came back from my pre-shuffle. Six of Swords. Yeah, they, you're their happiness. we got a rainbow here from the... Ten of Cups, the happily ever after rainbow. They want to move towards it. They want to move toward the happiness. And they know they need to move quick because they're afraid you might be gone. 
whatever this four of wands is it, it's it's not a reversed energy it's kind of cockeyed it's like this if i were to throw the card the way i see it it looks like that um something on their side is not fulfilling them and i don't think they're giving to it anymore either with this king of cups at the bottom uh why is this six of swords here twice yeah nine of swords again I felt it. I told you. I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. Any fool can throw a card and tell you what it means. Hey, I tell you what. You're going to read energy? You read the goddamn energy. You energy readers out there, pay attention. Give them the damn energy. Verify it with the card. Don't be afraid to get egg in your face, because sometimes we do. We have to translate feelings into words. Most people can't do that. It ruins most relationships, for God's sake. I love you comes out as you suck. Uh, you know, right here. I felt the. I felt the. The. It's it's an urgency. It, it it's urgency. I gave another example to another sign of this that that had this. Uh, you know, it's like the salesman. You know, someone's wishy washy on the deal, and you say, well, there's someone else coming at two o'clock to look at it. There ain't no one else coming at two o'clock to look at it. You're just trying to force the person to take it. That's the urgency. Your person thinks someone else is coming to get you, or you walked away. And it's driving them batshit crazy, this urgency, this urge to come in. But they can't. Temperance is stopping this here. And it's stopping it because of this. And we're going to get there. But they are pacing the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. I can feel that. I said there was some shit here. There's our first piece of shit. Now, what's this temperance? Why is it here? Let's go ahead and take another shit. We got a little more in us. Ugh. <sighs> These soulmates, I tell you, the energy's really kicking up. It's a real storm out there right now. God, it's like on the surface, too. You can just pick it right up. All right. Why is temperance here? I'm afraid to freaking ask. I'm going to turn the card in front of you so you can cringe with me. Yeah, I felt that. I knew it. I knew it was going to be one of those. I call them the gray cards. The five of Cups. There's some sort of loss on your person's end. Now, the good news is three cups down, two cups up. Most readers, and I'm one of them, agree that the two of cups that are still standing are, is the two of cups from the deck. Two soulmates coming together. That, that's you. But there's three cups down that they're dealing with on their side, and they're having patience, just like that great blue heron waiting for a damn fish. These sons of bitches, you go down to a river bank, you see one, You'll stand there for an hour until something comes by. You're like, God, is that bird dead? Is it a statue? What's happening? No, he won't move. And then when that little fish comes out, that neck will move about 40 miles an hour and grab that fish. It's fast. It's fast. And I'll tell you what, that's the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is fast. As soon as this person can come toward these two cups still standing, that's you, uh, they're going to move just like him if he sees a fish. Just like that great blue heron. I'm going to snatch it right up. 40, 50 miles an hour. I think it's about 40. I don't know. It might be faster. I don't know. But it's fast. You can't even see it. It's that fast. All right. Why is the uh, five of cups here? Oh, God. I'll turn it with you. Oh, God. No, please don't. Don't be what I think it is. Oh. I thought it was going to be the devil. I won't lie to you. I thought it was going to be the devil, but it's death. Look at this. This bird is picked clean, right? This is the great blue heron right here. He's picked clean. Picked clean. Your person is the great blue heron. Whatever is going on on their side, those three cups down, it's done. It's dead. It's over. And it's picked your person's soul clean. That's why I said I didn't feel like their heart chakra was open. I didn't feel it. It's not. There ain't no chakra here. It's like nothing. Unless the skeleton is a chakra that I don't know about. But, you know, this bird is picked clean right there. Picked clean. So whatever's going on on their side that has to do with this four of wands, it's dead. And uh, after death comes rebirth. The problem is they're all up in their head. They think a lot of time has passed and they think you might have moved on. But so that's why they got that frantic energy, which is keeping them up at night, because they want to come towards you. They know you're the better. You're, they know you're the happiness. What's the say to cups about? How they feel about you? The good news is, I think they're going to come anyway, and at least check it out, because we got the the Queen of Cups here in the final outcome. But I, I don't want to jump the gun yet. I want to know about this Eight of Cups. So, give me a second to find it here. 
let the universe tell me what this damn eight of cups is about. Afraid you might be gone. Afraid you might be gone. That's like the tenth time this damn nine of wands has shown up at the bottom. Remember the, I'm not going to take it out, but remember the nine of wands. It might come in handy. Nine of wands is that closed off shock, uh, heart chakra. It's that wall, that fortress around your person's emotions. I don't know. Just remember the card. Um, eight of cups. Yeah, nine of cups. Rebirth is coming right toward your, your their wish. They wish that they had chosen you in the past. They wish that you know you weren't gone or they hope you're not gone or whatever you're the wish fulfilled i know that because of the rainbow here on the six of swords they want to come towards you why is the nine of cups here there's the big million dollar question okay i'll pull a widget there he is i felt him i thought he was coming out right there but there he is just a couple of one shuffle and a couple of cards later i knew it I freaking knew it. I felt that goddamn energy. I did. I felt it. That's the goat with its feet on fire in my deck. I know he's a little off camera. I'm going to move him on because he's a handsome devil. <laughs> no pun intended. It's the goat with its feet on fire. And I'm drawn to this right here. And I'm not always drawn to it. This goat's got a pinnacle on his head in this deck. Something long term on your person's side jammed up your connection with this person. Stop this wish from coming true, and it's still stopping it right now because I think they're still dealing with it, and that's why this Five of Cups is here. And your person's soul is picked clean, and through it all, even though this person's soul is picked clean, and I, this Nine of Wands at the bottom means something, even though they, you're still their damn wish fulfilled, they still are frantic and up at night worrying about the fact. But for some reason, I'm getting they can't come towards you, and it's got to do with this devil. I'm going to pull a crossing card here. Okay? I'm going to pull a crossing card. Because I'm not one of those readers. I don't give you the... Oh, man, I watched readings all last year before I came out here. And, man, somebody be on to something. Right? They be on to it. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got it. You got it. And then they just move on to the next card. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm like yelling at the screen like my father yelling at a baseball game. Oh, what are you doing? I still, I still remember 1986 Red Sox game when Buckner screwed it up, blew the, blew the whole World Series for the Red Sox by missing a, a first-grade ground ball. Uh, I mean, it was just like unreal. Oh, man, we, he, we, we had to go buy a new TV the next day. I'll tell you what, oh, man, I still remember that. Uh, I, was, I was young then. I was only like 10, but uh, Jesus. All right, the devil. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, the universe, really, well, it still wants me to shuffle, I'm sorry, I don't mean to jam you up here, I thought for sure we were done, but then I heard my little voice in my head go, nope, you ain't done, okay, alright, oh shit, yeah, look at that, three of swords, three swords crossing the devil and the nine of cups, man, this person, when they, uh, if this person, I think for a lot of you they did, they blew you off in the past and chose something else over you, someone else. Oh, I know it's someone else uh, for most of you. Uh, they knew right from the start that it, 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 it was shit. It was shit when they chose that person over you or that thing or that job. It, and it stayed shit. It stayed shit, but your person's own propensity, this devil energy here, how do I describe this? It's, it, this is just an analogy, okay? I'm not, it might be exact for you, but it's an analogy. This devil energy off this three of swords is telling me, it's like one of those people, stubborn kind of thing, where even if the marriage, like we'll use the marriage as an example, even if the marriage is bad, they stay in it because you're supposed to be, because they were taught when they were a child that you're supposed to stay married. You always stay married. You fight to make it work. You stay in by your man or you stay in by your woman. That kind of thing. It's that kind of stubborn energy of, no, it's going to work because it's supposed to work. That kind of thing. Oh, it was shit. It's shit. According to that card. Anyway. According to the energy. Your, stubborn, your person's very stubborn. This devil energy is, has a lot of stubbornness attached to it. Okay. Uh, all right. <clears throat> By the way, they're also disappointed. If you have walked away, or even the thought of you walking away, 
disappoints this person. It's I, this all of this here, where you're concerned, has the air of missed opportunity over it, and it's it's this nine of swords. I'm just keep getting drawn to it. It's keeping them up at night. It truly is. It's keeping them up at night. Let's go. Hidden energy. This is what the universe wants you to know. All this is about some what they're moving away from with this six of swords it has to do with four of wands obviously i could say as well the card says that they see long term with you and all of that but that's not what the energy is i won't lie to you um if i just read cards that's how i'd re read it but that's not the energy coming off it it has to do with this devil and this six of swords and why they're what they're moving away from just being honest with you uh, I, I'm sure that they do see long term with you. The Queen of Cups is the final outcome. That's the love they feel for you. I think this has a happy ending. I do. Why am I shuffling so much today, Universe? What the freaking hell? All right. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm, look, Rainbow, this is tied to the Six of Swords. Fully. Okay, this Four of Wands probably more tied to why they feel the impulse to come towards you why they want to come towards you why they want to move on whatever anyway six of six of swords rainbow rainbow you're the happiness they do want to reach out to you they do and they do see a happy they do want a happy new beginning with you but i'm telling you the energy is different there that's something else fool twofold meaning here major arcana twofold meaning on this they're just Again, we saw that Knight of Wands earlier, right? I told you the Knight of Wands was underneath uh, or near or somewhere in the cut. I don't remember, but we saw the Knight of Wands and I worked, it read with the Six of Swords. That's an impulsive action. It's, I'm just going to go for it. This is the major arcana of, I'm just going to go for it. Okay? They are going to come toward you. But also, to come toward you, they have to go away from something else. All right? So we're going to pull another crossing card. Well, I don't, boy, this is my reading to pull three clarifiers, let me tell you. Jesus Christ. You don't always have to do that, but sometimes in a reading like this, you're frick, this is freaking crazy shit. Okay, this was at the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling. It's back at the bottom again. Had to come around three, four times to do that. So this means something. Seven of, pan, uh, seven of cups. Okay. It's a tough read. And the Nine of Pentacles again. Okay. So again, I said this fool, this is why this came up. This fool was twofold. They're taking a leap of faith toward you. You know, just I'm going for it. And to, to, in order to do that, they have to get themselves single and free to pursue. But they're afraid the whole time. It doesn't matter which order I put these in. I, I, just, I just don't want them laid over the top. Single and free to pursue. I read that originally off of this card when it was at the uh, bottom of the deck or uh, underneath the King of Cups. But this uh, Seven of Cups is about this Eight of Cups. It's about this fear that other people are going to be interested in you and someone else is going to snatch you up. So they're trying to come up with all sorts of ways to come towards you. And that's what this Nine of Swords is about in part why they're up at night. But they're having a hard time doing it. I feel that because their soul's been picked clean by whatever th this devil energy, whoever or whatever this devil energy was on their side. The soul's been picked clean by it. It really has. I think this ties a lot to the, uh, to the, to the cancer energy that's going on, to the all signs energy I pulled recently. This, is, this tastes very much the same, except these eggs are a little more past. Okay, this, this person is more worried than what I'm conveying to you, but also more shut down than what I'm conveying to you. Uh, again, bird, pick clean. That's their soul, just pick clean. Good news, though. What's this, what's this Queen of Cups about? All right, what's this Queen of, Queen of Cups? Come on, give me something good. For God's sake, universe. You, come on, work with me. All right, come on now. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Next card out, I need one more. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, shit. Divine couple. Divine masculine. Divine feminine. Yeah, they got huge love for you, Queen of Cups. Yeah, and, and this is the universe verifying. I said it's very similar to the Cancer energy. This is a card of Leo, but Cancer and Leo energies are tied in the, in the soulmate universe. 
uh, I call it the Cancer Leo axis. It, it's the it's the center point of everything. Yeah, I I figured it out last year. I figured it out a little bit this year. I've been I've been really digging into the energies. It, it doesn't have to have anything to do with a Leo or a Cancer. It's just a it's just where the energies are sitting. It's it's why there's so many Cancers and Leos online watching damn readings. Uh, they're all suffering. But this is crossing. Okay, they're pulling up. They're pulling up their big girl and big boy pants to come in and bring these two together. It's big love. I mean, it, it, it's. I don't have a straight up card of communication here from this person. I'm going to switch decks and pull some universe cards. I don't have a straight up card of communication here. This person right now is suffering on their side, and you're suffering. Everybody's suffering. I'm not diminishing your suffering. I'm just saying whatever three cups are down have picked has picked their soul clean, and and they that they can't come in for some reason something to do with this devil, which is probably a person for most of you, okay? And it's driving them batshit crazy because they're afraid they're going to lose you with this eight of cups, and it makes it caught it creates an urgency in their energy to come rushing in and make this right. But in their thoughts, they know that it, they might screw the whole thing up if they do on both sides. So, you know, that's what I'm getting. In the final outcome, though, the final outcome goes in your favor. This is your energy and your person's energy, and this is your person's energy towards you. Queen of Cups is their energy towards you. They want to bring you the full cup of love. They know you're the catch, you're the one, and they know you'd be a great couple for the long term. And we saw a little bit of that in that Four of Wands that's there, too. Um, they, this person's just really scared that someone else is going to come snatch you up. That's really what it boils down to. Now I'm going to pull the light seers. I'm going to see what action they're going to take towards you. I'm not going to extend this one. But I am going to see what action. Because the monthlies are coming up pretty quick. And uh, we're going to get some real detail on that. That Ju <laughs> July is going to be a shit storm of fireworks. I can tell you that. But I want to know what actions this person is going to take towards Scorpio. Okay? In the near future. Now near future is going to vary for everyone. Generally in tarot speak, as far as I'm concerned, it's now to three months. But I would say now to Lionsgate with this Leo strength card coming out here. Lionsgate is August 8th. So sometime now and through maybe the next six weeks or so. You know, that kind of time frame. This is what I'm pulling on. Again, no reader is a time lord. Oh, God, I wish we were. I wish I had a TARDIS. I, I'm trapped in 2021 Hollywood and I'd like to get the hell out of here. Uh, but my TARDIS is broken. But anyway, let's see what actions they're going to take towards you when we talk to the universe. We, f we pull from the bottom first. I'll pull five cards from the bottom. I'll go five deep. Fool. Fool twice now in this reading. They are, it's the universe said that they were going to come towards you. They are just going to take a leap of faith. Boom. Okay? And this connection is somehow tied to the Cancer Leo axis. This girl's got that mustard yellow dress on. Uh, they're sucking everybody in like a black hole uh, in, into that connection, so which is why there's a lot of more signs that suffer more and more every day, kind of a thing like that. It, it, energy is complicated. Your best bet is just watch the readings that resonate with you, okay? It's such powerful energies right now. It don't even matter what sign you watch. If the title resonates with you, go ahead and watch it. it probably got something to do with you, at least on some level. Um, and trust me, they're very powerful. I know what I'm talking about. Nine of Pentacles, off of that, again, they're a little bit intimidated by you. This is actions they're going to take towards you. The Fool, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, she got a falcon. You know, she got their shit together. Your person is getting their shit together, but this, I get your energy off of this. I get, they're intimidated by you. I don't know why. The Emperor, the Burger King, mm-hmm, got to have it their way. But we don't get things our way, just like at Burger King. You don't get the Whopper the way you order it. It's their slogan, but I never get it the way I order it. That's why I stopped going there, all right? You don't get things your way. Your person's trying to control, temper themselves, temperance. They're trying to be that great blue heron waiting for that fish. Waiting for that moment to come in. It's very weird. Three of Wands, there they are, waiting for that moment to come in. Waiting for that moment to strike. Watching you the whole time. 
And the fifth card out from the bottom is judgment. It's almost governed by the universe. There's always there's a lot of destiny here in this connection. We didn't get a lot of destiny cards, but judgment's very powerful. Judgment is, is a second chance, and this is what this person's hoping for with you, a second chance. Might be a third or fourth. I don't know. Uh, it's resurrection. It's always some, something from the past coming to the present. So past, present, and future coming together. It's a card of destiny in many ways. Huh. Let's pull a couple from the top. Seven of Cups again. Two Seven of Cups, two Fools. Yeah, they're worried. They're worried that somebody else is going to snatch you up, that, that too much time has passed, and they know they're going to need some recovery time to come in. And this is, a, this is a spell because underneath that judgment was the Knight of Pentacles. Mr. or Mrs. Get the Hell on the, fo get the, hell on the Horse, asshole. This guy's walking. And he's got a horse walking behind him. Get on the horse and get there faster. But it, this is all going to take a spell. It is. It, it really is. I'm going to pull one more from the top. And there's the King of Cups again. The, we end the reading where it began with the bottom card, the King of Cups. This person, and I don't normally get this off the Seven of Cups, but when I see the King of Cups here, this asshole who dyes his hair gray, does that anyway the the point is to look younger fool all right anyway this person really regrets and i felt it with this three of swords too i don't usually get regret off the seven of cups it's really weird man this person made a bad choice in the past is what i'm trying to say oh their soul's been picked clean by whatever this devil is heart chakra shut down and even with the heart chakra shut down and the soul pick clean, they got Queen of Cups level love for you and they're able to see that, that you're the right choice and you're the right connection. Listen, you're just going to have to take the lesson of the great blue heron here on, on uh, temperance and be patient. I'm sorry, I don't like saying that to you. This is going to take a spell. That Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom and I'm going to put him right there as an overlay card over all this from the universe. This is going to take a spell. This fool is walking. He's got a long walk ahead of him too. Even the horse is like, come on, asshole. I don't want to walk. You know, the horse wants to get there too. There's probably water where they're going. He don't even look like he's got any water for the horse. Asshole. Anyway, it's going to take a while. It's, it's a slow-moving energy. But they love you. I mean, I can tell you this. They love you. They're thinking about you. They're up all night thinking about you. But at the moment, something, and it's going to be different for all of you, a career, a job, a person, uh, someone they're banging, a marriage, a dog who bites, a sick relative. I don't know, but something sucked the life out of this person. And they're getting rid of it. They are getting single and available to pursue. But they do, on the flip of that, know that you're a pretty good catch. Because the King of Pentacles has your energy attached to it, and as does the Queen of Pentacles. You, it, you're just all here. It's, 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 it, it, you're the two best cards to be seen as in, in you know, in the, I believe you're the Divine Feminine in this connection, and they're the Divine Masculine. So if I were to pick one or the other, I'd say you're the, you're the Queen of Pentacles and they're the King of Pentacles. But either way, male or female makes no difference. I say you're the Divine Feminine because you're awakened. You're here watching these readings. You're feeling this. Uh, your soul is not picked clean. The Divine Masculine is slow to come up in these connections that are coming around in this cycle. And everything is cyclical. This will come around again for someone else. Some, some poor fool in 2028 or 2029 or whatever it is is going to be going through the same shit you're going through. Because these energies are going to come around again after they've come around this time. But right now, they're coming around this time. The divine masculine is very slow to come around. They are starting to wake up. I think your person is awake, but they can't get out of bed because their soul's been picked clean. It's the best I can tell you. It is what it is. You're going to have to... There is, there is a resurrection coming for this thing. They are poised to take action. They're, they, they still got a little bit of that emperor 
you know, they're trying to take control of their life right now is what I get off the Burger King. But again, we don't control. Stop trying to control your life. Stop trying to take control. Just organize it. Hell, I can't even take control of a deck of cards half the time I pick these things up and they fall out of my hands and whatever. We don't control anything. If it happens, it happens. That's why we readers, if a card falls out, we pull it. We say, okay, it was meant to fall out. We don't control anything. We'll get mad and go crazy when we can't control something. Oh my God, it didn't go my way. I'm going to throw a big hissy fit. I'll throw a hissy fit if a card falls on the floor. It is what it is. Take that and apply it to larger things in life. We can't control, we control nothing. COVID should have thought, uh, taught everybody that. 2020 as a whole should have taught everybody we don't control anything. Now, your person's still a little bit of that Burger King. Uh, but, you know, they're afraid somebody else is going to snatch you up. And I don't blame them. I mean, I don't know. It, it is what it is. That's the reading. That's what's going on. There's something going on on your person's side. Pick their soul clean. But they love the crap out of you. And the universe says this thing ain't dead with judgment. It ain't dead. They're going to come back around. You just got to have the patience of the great blue heron. All right. Maybe that's your spirit animal. How about that? It's a nice spirit animal to have. They're damn fine bird. All right. That's your reading, Scorpio. I hope it was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate all the shares, all the plugs, everything. Thank you. Watchers, whatever. Uh, I'm going to have the weekly reading coming up. One card for each sign. Later today, probably the same time this thing goes up. So check it out. See what card you get for the coming week. It's a powerful week. Jupiter retrograde, full moon, Capricorn. Sun moves into Cancer. <laughs> Game on, let me tell you. All right. Good luck, Scorpio.